Hello YouTube, my name is Andre and I have a new cheap trick tutorial about the mono machine. I want to show you some basic techniques how to use the V06 engine. It's often overlooked, but I found it inspiring. I had a hard time understanding it, but um, now I'm at least getting better. You never finished, you're never finished with really understanding this machine 100%, this mono machine, it's so deep and so difficult to understand sometimes, but I just give you a start if you want to use it for a speech synthesis. You can also use this machine for synth sounds. So you, you can change the pitch like every other machine and program a sequence. But today I want to try to um, use it for speech synthesis. And I came up with this little thing here. That's the idea. It's a, it's a simple track around a vocal synthesis piece. This, the voice is saying um, I am N13 because I am N13. That's my name, how I um, play shows. Not much, but sometimes. So I start from scratch with a new pattern to show you how I did this or how I approached this. Um, you select this machine, of course, by going to the edit button and here it's in the last list here V06 and now um, Maybe I start from sketch by function and clear and now the machine is cleared and So we all start from the beginning V06. Yes, and now this machine is here you have um, as always these eight parameters the first two are important if you need um, uh, vowels. I hope I pronounce it right, vowels. So these are the, the two parameters to get A, O, E, U, O, O and E, something like this. And um, with this parameter, with these three, you can get um, the consonants. I hope I pronounce it right. For example, B, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, R, S, T, V, and Z. So with this uh, parameter, you can get um, the consonants. And you can adjust the length and the volume of the consonant. Um, with this parameter. It depends on the consonant if you can use these two parameters. Uh, it really depends. You have to look into the manual if you really want uh, to look close. There's this uh, table where you can see um, which one of the consonants um, can take these two parameters. Anyway, the first thing you have to do is make up your mind about what you want to program. That's maybe do not start with something difficult. I am N13 isn't the easiest thing, but I try. So if you trick this machine, it sounds like this. Sounds like a th synth. But if you adjust these parameters, you can get these um, vowels. I haven't selected a consonant because this machine always things you can start with a consonant and after that it gets a vowel because that's typically how a speech works so um, if you start with the consonant and then have a vowel it says f f or fa or, or whatever so the first thing I need right now is I I I am I I am n13 so I start mm. the I is about 
here, I guess. I, 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 I. Ah, with this parameter, you can um, use this to set end endings of a word. So if you want only the consonant to be played, you have to s uh, set the consonant uh, the the vowel off with this you set the vowel off so you only play the consonant um, that's good for uh, endings of words it's really hard to describe you have to do it try it by yourself um, and then maybe take the steps I do and adjust them to your needs because the words of course are always different that you want to produce uh, the letters so I need an I am um, and 13 let's start it's not too bad. It's really trial and error. I found a table on um, Electronauts uh, that I can show you right now. It's about settings to find the right vowels. It's, it's not always 100% perfect, but at least it gives you a start if you do use these these numbers. I put them in the show notes, of course, too. You can always adjust the settings while while you're talking with the machine. You need this for I am because it's together. I, I will show you this with a slide. So basically we, I want to program the sequence with this slide. I, I, something like this. So I go into record mode and place a trick here. I think it's um, C3, is that right? I pitch it up a little. Ah, C3 is okay. And then you parameter lock um, the settings you have with pushing the encoders. Push. Need this, and this, this, and this. So, and if I now place the second trick here, I adjust the settings. And if you want to slide these parameters, you have to set a parameter slide. That's going with function. Take look look where the where the tricks are. Go to function and slide and then place a trick here and now it will interpolate between the two um, parameter locks. Yes, okay. And now it's going gradually between the two settings. Now I have I am something like this and now I need an M so that's a consonant and I only need an M so I turn the vowel off and look at my consonant list where is the M and I place a trick here and I am um, maybe the M is right here somewhere here listen how this sounds I again push the trick and push the encoder to to um, parameter lock the settings uh, that's too that's too short and maybe maybe one trick to to too fast so I copy the trick copy then I erase it and place it to the second note to the next trick and adjust it to paste it I know what you're thinking. It's not perfect. You can still adjust also the volume. That sometimes helps. The decay. You really have to play around with these parameters to get it as close as you as you can. You won't um, have a 100% speech 
um, synthesis, but you can come close and it's more like art, art speech synthesis. I am, and then maybe here we I look for an N. I am N. Not here, we copy. It has to be longer. N I I am N and now I have the TH thirteen. N thirteen. I have a I need a TH and then an thir thir something like this. You it it helps to if you really pronounce it and think which vowel and which consonant really needs to be in this machine. Th, th. So I put a trick here, set it to th, th, and the consonant something like a the third third, maybe something like an e third third. Thur, 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 something like this. Put the vowel again. I, I lengthen up the my scale function, scale setup, and copy the page. Yes. But I erase it on the second page because it always copies the tricks from the first page. It's not perfect. This trick is too, too, too fast. So copy it. Erase it, put it to the second page, paste it. Third. Okay, now we need a the R. An R without um, a vowel. So, third, third. And the last thing is I need an N thirteen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not sounds. I know what you're thinking, what you're saying. It's not perfect, but at least it's a start. And then you can, um, now comes the fun part, and you can play get a song out of this. So I just jam around and show you how I would start um, using the machines with a B-Box on track 5 and some synth settings on track 1 and 2. So first I'd um, deactivate our um, vocal track and start with with some something like uh, 
um, how's it called a metronome because the mono machine lacks a metronome. So I try to I try to start with with some uh, four on the floor and then adjust this to taste. And then you have a bass, and then you can jam. And now I look at my vocal and see how it aligns with the beat. Start from the game beginning. Not too bad for a bass line. on what you want and this is just a start so thanks for watching this is um, some speech synthesis tricks cheap tricks on the Mono machine I hope you find this inspiring and start your machine right now turn off YouTube and get really 
frustrated and motivated on your mono machine on your instrument. Thanks for watching.